Hello there. Now we're on our way to go return the camera. I'm going to return the, the, um, which camera is it? It's the Fuji, Fuji Film something, S2000 or something. It had really sharp stuff, but it was, um, it was kind of fluid and it, um, its primary purpose was a camera, so its videos were good, but not that good. And you could zoom, 50, I think it was 10x optical, 15x digital, or something like that. And I really needed a camera that would be able to focus on things far away. And it just wasn't going to do the far away enough for me stuff. So this other camera is much better. So this one I'm going to keep. I'm so grateful that you guys are going to help me out. You don't have to s donate much. If you go to um, Etsy, um, I've, got, I've got on there. So what you could do, if you wanted to just make a donation, I have keychain, overpriced keychain. But if you wanted to just donate, then I won't send you the keychain. So you could specify that in their comments or just, you know, just talk to me. I could send you the keychain. It's, I figure it's worth about $5. And then I've got overpriced keychain, $10 overpriced keychain, $15 overpriced keychain, $20 or something like that. So that you could donate that way. It was, I can't do a $2 donation because Etsy takes a bit and also, um, Anyway, by the time Etsy's taken their stuff and I've dealt with it all, your, your $2 is getting a lot smaller. Actually, your $1 gets a lot smaller. $2 is probably okay, but anyway, so that's the way to donate to help pay for this camera. I'm so grateful that you guys are helping me. I love doing this for you. I just love sharing stuff I know and stuff I'm learning and just anything. I don't know. I don't particularly know why you'd be interested in watching these. <laughs> I'm having fun, so keep it up. I love reading the comments. This is this is my life now. I make movies all day, and I read comments all afternoon or evening. I love it. I love getting to know you. I just love people. I'm just I'm a little social person, not a social butterfly. Is that, a, is that a, or what is it? No, there's social climber and social social light. I don't know. Anyway, I just like people. I guess there's maybe a word for that. X, X, see, extrovert. That's it. I'm extroverted. And I like people. It's been so neat having all my kids home this week. Well, not, no, I didn't have all my kids home. I only had um, two boys home. And then I, Abraham was having his party. So he had another, I don't know how many kids it was. He said there was going to be eight, but I don't think there was quite eight. I think there's only seven lazy boy chairs in the teepee and I don't think they were all full because I sat there in one so that hadn't been full so neat this this child of mine has been having campfires in the teepee ever since he was old enough to have birthday parties I'm not sure how long ago we built this teepee if it was 10 years ago or something he would have been five six ten years ago but anyway he's been having campfires at first of course I was in there with them helping them to get it go and staying with them and all that and, but as he's grown they've been doing it themselves and it's interesting because yesterday when they were there I said now which one of you was the one that put this hole in the teepee see they have these coat hangers that um, hang on the side of the teepee on the inside for roasting marshmallows but they of course figured out that you could make them red hot and then you could poke them right through the te teepee so they drew pictures with holes and you know stuff like that. I laid down the law, of course, but but those that's a long time ago, right? That's several years ago since they were little arsonists. <laughs> what is the word where you'd love to make fires? Um, I don't know, something maniac, right? Pyromaniac. That's right. So it's been a long time since they were little pyromaniacs, and now they're just big, big kids. But um. It was fun because I could say, who made this? And they said, oh, I did that. Because <laughs> these kids have all gone to school together since they were little. It's really
really great to live in one place for a long time. That's very important for your children if you're any way you can. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's not the best thing, but I think it's been good because he's had the, the same friends all the time and I'm lucky because he's a good kid and he's got good friends. If it was different, if he was in a bad crowd, well then maybe staying in the same place forever is not the best idea. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Would you like to see where we're going? Yep, this is it. That's where we're going. would zoom and I could have shown you flocks of, of, of um, those little tiny white birds in the winter time they they land on a field and they stay in a flock they're called snow snow buntings not snowbirds I always call them snowbirds those are people snow buntings look at that nice supply of firewood wow what a huge heap it's all been sort of stacked up on the outside. I don't know if it's stacked up all the way through it. Look at that. Boy, he's really, he's not using it, is he? He's got all that old wood. A lot of people ran out of wood this year. Look at that neat house. Now, of course, I'm not looking when I'm showing you things. I'm just imagining that you can see them with the camera according to the way I'm pointing the camera. So if you can't see it, I'm sorry. But you don't need to worry, because I'm not really looking. This, this camera has a little button you can push, and so it's, um, it's a YouTube thing. So what it does, when you push the button, it'll automatically turn off in 10 minutes. Isn't that wonderful? SP, does SP take less room than XP? This camera has three settings, XP, SP, and LP. And I think LP was the slow, SP was the medium, and XP was the large. My files have been so large. Nice pond down there. My files have been so large that it took me three hours this morning to upload one video. I can't do that. They have to be small enough to upload in a half an hour or, or less. Otherwise, I can't upload stuff. I hope you feel like you're right here in the car with me. Of course, there's a lot of you in the car now. There's 600 and... I don't know what the number was. 650 or 645 of you. I. I remember when it was 300. Look at this beautiful water over here. Isn't that nice? I like beaver ponds. There's more water back there. Anyway, um, I remember when it was 300 and I thought, oh my gosh, how am I going to ever get to know everybody? And now it's 600. But I think people don't, people that subscribe don't necessarily watch and people that watch don't necessarily subscribe. I watch some things that I never subscribe to because I just never think of subscribing like my friends, like you guys. Sometimes I'll, I'll go and check out your channels. And those of you who have commented and I've gotten to know pretty well, I'll go to your channels and check out your stuff. Of course, then if you, sometimes you're saying something and referring to me and I didn't realize that you were talking to me and then it's a good thing I went and saw the video because I don't always, I don't have time to see everybody's videos because I'm always outside doing stuff and videoing and then I have to upload and read your comments. But anyway, so sometimes I do see your con see your videos. I get to know you better. I had a point that I forgot what that was. Oh yeah, and I haven't subscribed to all of you. I had I realized that that I hadn't even subscribed to you guys that I watch pretty you know check up on regularly, and so then I started subscribing to everybody like that. But I think when people subscribe, sometimes well, there's a whole little. Let me talk about this in another 